Hi, I am Master Kambai, also known as Multi the Big Tall. Welcome to this new replay commentary. So today we are doing Hawk vs Sandy again. I know, I know. I need to play more of Hawk and my opponent just like to pick Andy. So we will see if this time it will go in my favor or in my opponent's favor. We will also take a look to my profile, my open profile, and both seals for any new people to advance wars that don't know the name or the characters. Let's do this. So my own profile. I am wondering if it's clear. Yes, it's clear. I like it. So right now I have an official rating of 839.47 with 140 to win, 158 defeat and 22 draw. Olaf is one of my most used character. Ock is up there. And Kindle is slowly making her way to the top because Kindle is very fun. So now that my profile has been seen, let's go take a look to my opponent. So looks like it's been a month that I haven't played. A ranking of eight hundred. 8.43 for 15 win, 18 lost, and he did not play much. Interesting. Ah, oh. unit gain 10% attack, power black weight, all unit gain 1 HP, and all enemy unit lose 1 HP. Black Storm, all unit gain 2 HP, all enemy lose 2 HP. So this is global damage, this is really good. The longer the game will be, the more chance I will have to win. This is some kind of eternal rule in this game when it comes to global damage. Now let's go over to Andy. Andy! No day-to-day -day ability, so he is pretty weak. Hyper Repair. All unit gain to HP. So this means this Hyper Repair that costs 3 stars can counter my Black Storm that costs 9 stars. Interesting, right? Hyper Upgrade. All unit gain plus 5 HP plus 10 attack and 1 movement. So this is really good. Uh... One of the best super in this game. So it's super fixed for his no day to day. So let's go over to the replay now. As usual, I will be really fast on the first few turns. Because this is boring to watch infantry walking around. So yeah, we have similar opening, he opens up with a tank, and I think I will do the same, oh no, I open with a battlecopter, very interesting opening on my side. So now let's see, he dropped his infantry there, which is really good, he accelerated a lot his unit. Usually I like to have two infantry in my black bow before sending it there. But that's just me. Come tower capture. This is pretty good. Now in the capture game, uh, I am ahead of him. Tank infantry, infantry. So 
Well, as you can see, my infantries are there. He took the lead in terms of income. Will this stick? We will see. We are now even. Same income. So I created a second Battlecopter because this map Battlecopter are really good. They are one of the best assets. Artillery are also very good. But artillery are much better mid game than early in the game, especially in this map. But sometimes I do like to have early artillery. But today I just wanted to have some battle capture, I guess. I say today, but this game was made uh, two months ago. Um, yeah, uh, a transport copter. To send the infantry there, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's a waste of money. And now you see that port, he will start capping it right now, which is fine. Now he will have these three building pretty fast, which means he will have a really good lead over me pretty fast as well. We will see how. Uh, We'll go, capture one, try to capture another one, damage the infantry, infantry, tank, artillery, he goes for the Comtal, uh, the lab and now he capped two buildings. Now he has a huge lead over me. Now he traded the fighter and he base skipped. First mistake, base skipping. Second mistake, fighter. Fighter are not a good counter to battle capture. Fighters should be only used when you know your opponent has a lot of air units or the second case would be a bomber or the third case would be a stealth. And in some cases you could go fighter on fighter if you want the air force supremacy. But usually don't buy a fighter early in the game. Especially if you need to base skip, it's really bad. It's not worth the money. Uh, regardless, he did it. That's on him. So I go for the building, attack the infantry, kill the infantry, cap the building, cap the building. Now at that point, I'm like, I need reinforcement there because I sent most of my troops in this area without knowing with have that many buildings in this area. Kill the infantry, capture the building, damage the infantry, kill the infantry. So now at that point I realize I need to play catch up with him because he clearly has a better income than me. And if he maintains this, I will be in deep trouble. So now he uses fighter. Damage my tank. Damage my infantry. Now this is my turn. Let's see how it goes. Try to capture the building. Tag the infantry. Join cap. Capture the building. Attack the infantry in the center. Tag the tank. Tag the infantry. Capture the building after killing the infantry. And now you see, we got three on three. Well, there's a big difference. I still have military forces here to maintain these buildings. And there, the only defense he got right now is the tank. 
Now, of course, he can't send that battle copter over there, but I believe he sent it over here to deal with my other battle copter, even if he has a fighter. Which is weird. Anyway. Let's see how it goes. Tank, tank, infantry. Kill my infantry, kill my copter. Damage my infantry. Interesting play. You send the battle copter over there to kill the infantry. This is the right thing to do. Because I need to maintain these three buildings. Battle copter. Killed my infantry. Tank, infantry, infantry. I join cap. I get one of the building in the center. So now I got an income lead over my opponent. And I was also able to steal one of his building. Telling him in the process a bit of income. Which is really good for me and really bad for him. And now that anti-air should be sent there because he has a battle copter. But hey, sometimes I don't always use my brain properly. So, medium tank. Infantry, infantry, because this is the time of the game I like to take up. I actually did take up really late during this game. Things happen, you see. Maybe I kept these two anti air to protect that battle copter from the fighter. I really don't know. Medium tank, infantry, infantry. Let's my turn, I get my lab. I get the other building at the center, giving me a huge advantage over my opponent. Now I try my best to kill everything I can. Now I send most of my unit in this area because I want to get these two buildings. I feel like in this area I have won this area, but I don't see that thing or that recon. But regardless, this area is the area I need to control. That's why I send most of my troops there. Damage my artillery. I am very sad. He kills my tank. Kills my infantry, damage my infantry, kill my infantry actually, damage, kill the tank. Now it's a very good turn for him. Now a mech in this map, this is trash, don't do that, this is really bad. This is one of the worst map ever for mechs. I know there are two mud ten in the center, but in order to have that mech, Reaching these mountain, you need a transport copter, not an APC. Because look at e at these forests, you need a transport copter. But obviously, that transport copter is meant to probably go here or there. I don't know. Now it's my turn, and I don't see because of my name. Okay, bow copter, shoot the tank, retrieve the artillery. Kill the infantry. Damage the infantry. Kill the infantry. Try to kill the tank. Kill the tank. Kill the infantry. Kill the tank. Anti air. Medium tank. Infantry. Now, as you can see, I got the unit count better than is. I have uh, four extra infantry, which is. Really good. That's a bonjour. They are keeping up. So let's keep going here.
He uses Hyper Upgrade. Now, I will tell you this. This is a huge mistake. First of all, you only got one damage battle copter. Second, I am off. So, if I get my super, I will just deny what you just did. So now, he uses bad super in this specific situation. Goes for my infantry over there. Damage the anti-air, damage the infantry, damage the tank. Kill the anti-air. Kill the artillery, kill the tank, maybe? No, the tank survived. And now, as I just said, look at that charge. So, recon tank, anti-air, I guess this is fine. But this is also really bad. Uh, this is fine because you need uh, military forces in the field. But he also need infantry. And you see, he got 13 infantry. And I got 15. But hear me out. Now it's my turn. So this means my infantry count will go higher. And his will go lower. Now you will tell me, oh, that's fine. Capture phase is over. Yes, the capture phase is over. However, take a look to both sides. I get 22k each turn. He get 18k each turn. And any decent player that played mi a minimum number of games in this map would know he is at a disadvantage. He would know he needs to catch up. Because if he doesn't do anything to reverse the table or make it more even, I will win. It's just natural, because you see, each turn, if I want, I can base skip to have a Nia tank. And you need to save up some money to get a Nia tank. Now, each turn, I can base skip and I get a Bomber. Can he catch up with this? No, he cannot even afford a fighter each single turn. He will need to save up some money. So this is what I mean by there. Uh, yes, you got a fighter there, but I'm just speaking about general situation of what's going on right now. So with that being said, let's see how I do my stuff to get my super. Stagging unit, damage the infantry, damage the infantry, damage the battle copter, and use my juicy super. Kill the battle copter. So now, as you can say, kill his infantry, and I did global damage. Take a look to the value. He lost so much just after my black storm. He lost a lot of money, and now his building will repair his unit, so he will lose even more money. Next turn, he cannot even get a medium tank because he has 18k and. This will be worth uh, 800 plus 700, which means 1,500 plus 4. Oh, actually, he can have a medium tank, but if he does get a medium tank, he will need to uh, base skip. And we all know it's really bad when you need to base skip to get a medium tank. So now that transport is heading this way which is really bad in my own opinion and take a look to the value I have a 30k lead and I get more money than him each single turn kill my infantry kill my anti-air or almost killed it um well let's see kill the anti-air for good damaged tank damaged copter create artery infantry infantry now, this turn is bad. Now, 2 infantry is good in your situation. But not that artery there. Now, you will tell me why artery are good. 
they are good when you control the map. He's in control right, right now. He's not. He's behind in terms of army count and in terms of uh, economy as well. So that artillery, it's really bad. A tank would have been much better in this specific situation because tanks are faster. Tanks are more immediate than artillery. Artillery takes many turns to be placed and then once they're placed they can shoot. But they are also really exposed. And when you don't have the army to bag it up, your artillery will melt and die. So now I send my medium tank to kill his tank, tank on tank, infantry on tank. I got a very high roll. And I tag the battle copter again. I kill the battle copter. I kill the infantry. I go for his building because I can. I damage his infantry. I send a medium tank in the center. And tier infantry medium tank. So now you see the rift is getting bigger each single turn. The hole between the both of us, the ravine, the gap, all it the way you want. It's getting bigger it each single turn. Now I got 50k more than him in terms of volume. He sends his tank on my tank. Can't afford to lose a tank when I'm that much ahead of him. Kill my infantry, damage my infantry. Capture the building, damage the tank, kill the infantry, kill the tank, damage the infantry. Go for the building. So now I get even more money each single turn. And he is losing even more money each single turn. And look at the map, he has one medium tank that is damaged, and I have three, and one of the three is damaged, but I am off, so I can fix it. Now he is in the, he can fix his, but that won't replace the fact that I have two medium tanks more than him. And actually, the third one, I'm blind. So now at that point, it's pretty clear I won the game. Um, the guy kept going for a few turns. I will just be really fast because it's clear I won. I uh, use hyper repair. This is fine. He's losing anyway. I I cannot criticize someone that is already losing. Now I'm I'm overextending to his come tower because I can and I want to force him to resign. Just take a look. I have almost 70k more than him. And I have 6k more than him each single turn. Capture the building. Kill the infantry. Kill the infantry, damage, medium tank. Now, as I expected, he went through that comp tower, but look, uh, it took forever and I had my infantry sitting there. Now, I will tell you a good tip, well, something I do think is good. Always leave an infantry uh, by your comp tower in this map, because sometimes you get some bad surprise, like someone like him that traversed the entire map to get to your comp tower. And you will lose if you lose your gun tower. And here's why. Good luck getting it back. And losing 10% firepower is really bad. But this also means your opponent will have an extra 10% firepower. So yeah, you really need to leave your infantry behind. This is just my take on it. Do whatever you want. But this is my take on it.
So I got another phone call, let's keep going, even if it should end soon. So I attack the infantry, I use Black Wave to thrash power only to kill off the infantry and to damage that uh, medium tank. Then I kill this, I damage this, I damage that, I kill the copter, I damage the Black Bolt, I damage the infantry. So now it's crystal clear, I am going for the Black Bolt because at that point I realized my opponent uh, don't want to resign, so I will just win. Nia tank, infantry, infantry, because I know my opponent cannot afford a Nia tank. And I also know that they need to uh, save some money to have a medium tank. And now he has resigned, which is just a natural decision to take. The guy lost, I mean, what can he do? Nothing. Uh, I have almost three times his volume. This is telling a lot about the current state of the game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. We will see each other in future video. Have a great day.